Hello everyone, welcome to the Mule channel and I'm doing a review of the Unbound series from Xenoscope. Um, this is my first uh, series that I've um, read from Xenoscope. They're an uh, indie company. But, I mean, some of these covers are pretty... Alfred! My cat's being insane. Some of these covers are really nice, you know? Look how cool this one is, number three. So this is like the villain of the series. <clears throat> you know, it's amazing, you know? What happens when women look like women? You know, I'm not used to this. I'm used to reading like Marvel books where women don't look like women. Men look like men and women look like women as Xenoscope. That's, that's amazing. This is Unbound. Number one. So, the series written by Ralph Tedesco, art by Oliver Borges, colors Leonardo Pasciotti, and it's really good. I like it. So, So this first issue is kind of weird because they don't tell you what's going on truly until about the end. So, so we have this character named Lucas. He's the black guy here. And he's looking real cool. He's a bounty hunter. And then you got two lesser characters um, at the bar. And they basically, they know that he's really popular and he's a bounty hunter, so they buy him a drink. And, you know, he's he's really happy, he's smiling. He says, I'm used to this type of treatment now. I'm a celebrity in these parts. Because, um, well, I'm not going to spoil it yet. But he is, so he's a big deal. And now he's going to go buy his gun. I'll take this Aztec, Aztec 18 dual pump. So he's buying his gun, and he says, also can use a handgun. And is that the uh, Falcon 50 caliber? Nice choice. And I need silver ammo. Ooh. <clears throat> so he um, so he says he's so popular, people want to tail him, and like these guys are so happy. They're like, oh my god, he's saw a legend. Look at his art. His heart's fantastic so, so this is a world called ether and then he lucas meets this woman so this woman i don't think they even tell her what their name is we'll find out later anyway so this woman pays him two thousand dollars to hang out with them and to go on a bounty hunt so they're on a hunt and these two people are having a smoke or whatever, and then they ambush him. They kill the one guy with they kill the one guy with the knife, and then she throws the knife and kills the other guy. And then he's he's impressed by it. I love the art because I get we get really good backgrounds. I love art that has the good background and it's not just some you know like this. You can do this some panels because like the artist can't draw every panel amazingly. Usually, because they're on like a monthly book, but um, you know, if that's every panel, like I've seen comics where like this is almost every panel, and it's like that's so bad. That's not. That's not good. I like this kind of pinky purple color story. So, like color, um, coloring background. It's this mysterious guy. This very dark, mysterious individual shows up and then this guy's got a shotgun he's like dude you can't have any weapons in here and then he slashes his knife this guy gets his hands cut off the fuck useless and then he cuts his throat oh so this is yeah this is like a horror book horror book there's some swearing too and then he finds this guy guy's name's onyx so this is kind of important guy so onyx is freaked out 
and he gets slashed. So Onyx is dead. So his body's piling up. And then we got the two, Lucas and the woman, they're on a hunt. And they're going to kill this guy named Kane. Who turns into like this wolf man. And you're like, what the hell? What is going on? And then I can't show every panel. Um, <laughs> so he's going to go. He's going to kill Kane. Kane's got Kane. And then, oh, something happens. He's bleeding. She threw a knife in his back of his neck. She, she killed him. No. And we see it's all a game. So the guy's name is Lucas, but it's all a game. So this is like neural game where like... So if, if your character dies, you kind of go back to scratch. You know, like she took all of his experience and so she leveled up big time. And it's like, it's like a futuristic game, basically. So he's like, oh, mad. And his mom's getting upset at him. And then we see the bad guy is kill, killed uh, the Onyx guy in the game. Seems the rules to this game have changed Onyx. And it's getting to be so much fun. So he killed that guy. And Onyx actually died in real life, too. So you're like, what the hell? <laughs> Ooh, so you, so you get to the last page and you don't know that's a video game. I was hoping it wasn't a video game. I thought this was just gonna be like the actual story, but no, it's actually a video game. So this is the bad guy. They call him X. So that's a big twist on the end. You're like, what the hell is going on? So this is the other books that Xenoscope has. They do a Robin. They, almost all their books are like female heroes. But they're all drawn like sexy. And uh, like the covers are all sexy. And <laughs> it's a lot of horror and beasts. That's kind of like what they specialize in. Like Van Helsing. When I heard Van Helsing, I was like, oh, is that the like the guy that Hugh Jackman paid, played in the movie? But no, it's actually a woman, so... Like, like all their books are like a female hero, but they're all like drawn sexy and there's a lot of violence and swearing and shit. It's cool. It's cool. What I don't like is that they do like almost exclusively like five issues series. Like I want to I want to go like 20 issues. This Unbound series is only five issues and like... I read four. I have four of them, and I like don't want it to end. <laughs> so, you know, it's just weird that they don't go past five or six issues almost anything. Look at how hot this woman is. This is how what a, this is what a woman's supposed to look like, and she is yeah she has her side of her head shaved. She has pink hair. You know all this. That's like SJW red flag, but this one's actually drawn hot though, and she's not SJW. That is the interesting part. <clears throat> so we have the same team on book two as book one, and they're at a game convention. And then we got some new characters. This woman's name's Jordan, and then her brother is named Casper in the game, but. Yeah, they have like different names in the game than real life. So I'm going to skip forward. Basically, they're saying, oh, you know, the game is safe and, um, you know, no one's ever died in the game, and blah, blah, blah. But that, that woman, Jordan, I showed you, she she's like a reporter or something. Like she knows what's going on. And this is um, Lucas's friend. So Lucas is the main character. And then this is like his friend from work. So they show up later. Um, this guy's name is uh, F Miller, I think. Frank Miller, I think that's his name. These two guys are like kind of like Lucas sidekicks almost. They're like super fans of Lucas. So Lucas got to be level 22 and then 
that woman killed him and took all of his experience. So now he's uh, like a level four. And he's got like the basic gear. Like this is like, this is like video game um, meta. This is like, ah, that's why I really like this series because it's like the people who wrote this, who worked on this, they, they play video games. They get it. You know, he got, he lost all of his shit. And now he's got this basic clothing. Anyway, we scan ahead and he gets jumped outside. Or no, no, sorry. He finds, he looks to find uh, some experience. So he's going to fight these vampires. And it's kind of a cool fight with the vampires. But then this, the, that guy named X shows up. And he takes the kills of the vampires. And Lucas is like, what the hell? And then he chokes. Where's it? And then he chokes them right there. And then it's revealed this is his face. Like, I love it. So uh, scary looking. And then he realizes in real life that he was choked by that guy. So they're like, they're like figuring out what the hell is going on. Because it's this one bad guy can uh, kill people in real life through the game. So the game world is called Ether. And then where they have like these characters. Oh, that's sorry. That's the forum. Sorry, they're they're in a forum saying like, "What is going on?" Whatever. And then he he uh, MCM one 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 says West End Square in front of the clothing building, and it's the person that killed him earlier. <laughs> so this is their avatars in the game. So the woman with the pink purple hair. Um says that Lucas's weaknesses is his ego and that she took all of his experience because it was easy, whatever. She's all smiley and he's like, what the hell? You just, you <laughs> killed. But there's a lot of dialogue on this page, but it's all like, it's good dialogue. He gives backstory, there's exposition. And then the bad guy kidnaps this guy, Ether Farmlands, and then he like cuts off his ear or something. Like, what the hell? This guy's torturing people. And then you get the previews, same as the uh, the first book. So, and then this is number three. Again, I really like this cover. It's so cool. Open with... um, Lucas talking to his mama. And we get two new characters. So this is... So this woman here is Jordan from the previous book, like the reporter who was asking the main company about like, hey, is your game safe or whatever? I heard these people were dying, having blah, blah, blah. Then the guy is her brother. Um, yeah. And then they're in a bar, Lucas and his buddies, these two guys, they follow him around over. They're in the bar and then she agrees to meet them, and there's uh, some good banter between them. She buys guns for them for uh, Lucas, and then they go on a they go to another location because they're looking for um, this guy named Onyx, the guy that was killed earlier, the guy that was killed in the first issue. So his, I'll show you this guy. So Onyx, the guy in the first issue that was killed. So Lucas and the woman, her name's in real life. Her name is Marna. I forget her character name though. Um, but they're in uh, like a club, like trying to find out what the hell is going on with the Onyx guy. And this woman, wow, look at um, this woman kind of leads them on a. So Jordan and Casper know where he is. They're part of his crew. crew. You know where to find them. I'll need to introduce, introduce you or they won't pay you any mind. Follow me. So her name is Erica. And kind of she kind of leads them down an the alley. And Lucas is like, hey, something's going on here. So, she, so he pulls out a gun. But someone pulls a gun on him. And it's not her. It's... Uh, the um, Jordan and Casper who are there. And there's kind of a you know a little fight, but they realize that 
uh, Lucas and Marna are looking for Onyx, and they're friends of Onyx, so they're they're gonna help him. And let me get a page here about um, Steph and Frank Miller, who are uh, one of them at exits the game. And this guy is walking alone. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Well, they get they go to a bar, or he, the the guy with the red hair goes to the bar. I love this art. I love how everyone looks and this guy I don't know, he has a weird scar here it's very foreshadowing because on the next page the guy loses his head decapitated by mr x the villain and then he jabs a knife into this guy's chest he's like it hurts it hurts and then he fucking look at that oh <laughs> Jabs a dagger into the guy's head. He's done. And then um, he says, uh, what are you waiting for? Like, he wants to get Lucas. So this bad guy's after Lucas. And then this guy is running and scared. I think his name's Steph. He's running out scared. Like, what the hell? And then there's a news story about game of death breaking news the police are investigating the death of jeremy miller whose body was found by his wife jenny inside their home last night mrs miller claims her husband was playing the extremely popular virtual reality game called ether when she found him unconscious an investigation to cause death is ongoing but foul play has not been ruled out and then martha and lucas are talking about it in text so this guy's named frank miller and he he's got killed like in real life he got killed in the game but then he got killed in real life um because they're supposed to be able to disconnect uh where does it say that dude log out log out i can't so this this bad guy has got some kind of like in-game um tech that lets him make players not be able to log out like it's like it it's so cool. It's like, it's so meta on video games. Elfie! The kitty cat yelling at me. <clears throat> <clears throat> so this is issue four of five. And so they're off to have a meeting in New Jersey, like in person, all of them. And they all show up. So... Yeah, they're all together. We'll show them later. So they're all having a meeting together. There's a lot of talking. I'm like, what? what's going on? What's going on? And then... Um, skip a few pages. And there's the team in game. So Lucas has still got his shitty costume. And then that's his bartending friend who says his name is Maximus in the game. This is Jordan, the kind of reporter. Her brother. This is Marna. And Erica. So they're going to do a mission where they fight some like zombie mermaids. <laughs> I think the coloring could be a little better. It doesn't pop enough. Like all the characters are in black. But if the zombie mermaids were a little like. Maybe they were red or something. Like something to kind of pop on the screen. I would like that. A little better. I mean, it goes on for five pages. There's five pages of a fight. They're all fine. They disconnect. They're they're staying in Marna's place in uh, New Jersey. And then Marna and Lucas leave, and they talk about how his dad uh, passed away at a young age, and she holds his hand. Like they're kind of like flirty together. <clears throat> and then they come back into the game. I get guessing the next day. Oh, sorry. Um, um becoming a game. <laughs> I almost dropped my phone. Go to the next game, next day in the game, because they're gonna do um, some scouting, and then they're going to. Um, they want to place a tracker on the bad guy, Mister X, um, so they can find out who this guy is in real life. Like you can track people in real life through the game. Um, so it's really cool. I really like it. There's a lot of suspense, and horror, video game nods, you know, leveling up. So 
So that's what see see how he has got a better attire now because he can he has more money because of the game. They did the zombie mermaid mission and now he has more money to buy new clothing in the game. Like there's just so many like cool things going on in the series. <laughs> Holy shit. Um so basically they think they're gonna find or he, he sees something in the shed. You know, there's blood in the shed. They're trying to figure out where he is. And then this guy, Maximus, he's all alone. And then uh, Mr. X shows up, <coughs> kidnaps Maximus. Um, but he did get the tracker on him. And then Jordan's like, he's got a tracker on him. Uh, we can locate him now and call the police on the tracker. Sorry, the my brightness is very high on this video. Alfred! John, cat attacking me. Give me a second, I'll have a location. Hurry, it's coming as soon as we have it. No, 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 possible. I can't locate him. Why? He's not human! Da 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 da! Part 5 of 5. See, why is this ending at 5? This series could have been 12. Easy. They could have dragged us out for 12 issues easily and made a 12 issue trade paperback, 300 page. Like. Yeah, exactly, Alfred. Exactly. And you get the previews. Um, I like this where they, they have a page where they say they're going to be in Comic Cons. Like, great job. Xenoscope. Great job. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Zen I've never heard it said out loud. Xenoscope. Oh, I love it. Oh, is it out of order? Um, I love the colors. Like on the covers. The covers are excellent. Woo! Alfred. Cat's being very bad. You're being very bad. This is my video. Ow! I have a cat fight on a video. Relax. This cat is insane. Okay. Would I recommend this series? I would recommend this series. I would. I would get it in a trade paperback, maybe. I don't, I don't know if it's worth $5 Canadian for each issue, but if you can get a trade paperback, I would pick it up for sure. It's very interesting. That's four issues, so um, number five is supposed to come out pretty pretty darn soon. So I'm going to get number five for sure, complete the set. And I would recommend it, Unbound. You can see my written reviews on my website, um, the-mule.net. You can see my written view. <laughs> Cat is scaring me right now. Okay, I'm going to end the video. Uh, please comment, subscribe. I need more subscribers on YouTube. Please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Hey!